Hi, my name is Larry Jordan, and welcome to this Power Up webinar, taking a look at color correction inside the brand new Adobe Premiere Pro Creative Cloud, the CC release. There's, there's a lot of stuff that's very similar to what we've talked about with both CS5.5 and CS6, but there's some also cool new stuff, and we're going to try to cover all of that in our conversation today. This is an update to an earlier webinar that I did on color correction in Premiere Pro CS6. It was webinar 90. This session shows how to display, read, and understand the video scopes in Premiere Pro CC. Then we'll make a fast one mouse click color correction. Next we'll select a Lumetri look, which is new with this version of Premiere, to apply a special look to a clip. We'll wrap up by making manual color adjustments to clips and groups of clips. We'll be saving speed grade for a future session. There's three principal scopes inside Premiere. There's the waveform monitor, the vector scope, and the RGB parade. The waveform monitor displays grayscale image values. The vector scope displays color image values. In order for us to be able to accurately analyze a clip, we need to have both the waveform monitor and the vector scope at our disposal because one shows us the grayscale, the luma value. The other shows us the chroma, or color value. The RGB parade displays the amount of red, green, and blue in an image. There's also one called the YCRCB scope, or the YCRCB parade, which displays sort of grayscale with color values, but I prefer the RGB parade. There's other scopes, but these are the three that are the most important for what we're doing today. Remember I said that I was going to give you a table which lists grayscale settings and chroma settings for various skin types? Well, that's what this is. Female Caucasian skin should have a grayscale value between 50 and 70 percent, and the color should be parked on or two degrees above the skin tone line with about 40 percent saturation. Male Caucasian skin just a shade darker, 45 to 65 percent on the waveform monitor parked on the skin tone line at about a 35% saturation. Women tend to be a bit more saturated than men. Asian grayscale, 35 to 50, and just below, meaning two degrees, just a hair below the skin tone line, 30% saturation. Hispanic skin, 35 to 50% grayscale, on the skin tone line, 30% saturation. Female black skin, 20 to 45% on the skin tone line, 20% saturation. And male black skin, 15 to 35% on the skin tone line, 15% saturation. With these settings, you don't even need to have a grayscale reference or a white reference or a black reference. As long as skin tone looks good, your viewers will believe anything else they see in the video. If skin tones don't look good, they won't believe anything else they see in the video. Skin tones are everything. Here we've got a problem. We've got a, a girl that is, shall we say, a little orange. All right, black levels are okay, white levels are okay, but if we go to the vector scope, well, how am I supposed to tell what her skin tone looks like? Well, let's apply another filter here. Let's go to the effects tab, go down to where it's listing boom, transform, grab the crop filter and drag it on top. Now go back to the effects control and let's crop this in by click hold and dragging. And I want to isolate just on her skin tone. Up oh, too far. Right about there. And you always isolate based upon well-lit skin tone as opposed to shadows because you have no idea what's happening with the shadows. But I'll just pull this up a bit. Whoa, right about there. Look at that. She's supposed to be on the skin tone line. If she was any more toward yellow, she'd be a gold brick. This is terrible. We need to adjust this. So now we go back to our three-way color corrector. I'm going to click the master control because I want to adjust all shades, the shadows, the highlights, the midtones all at the same time. Grab this color dot here and just simply drag it in the direction I want this to go. Now because I set it to master, it's affecting all three color wheels, shadows, mids, and highlights the same amount. And notice we just rolled that from really yellow to right on the skin tone line, right where we want it to be. Now, when we take that crop off, 
Ta-da! Look at that. Perfect skin tone. The whites are white. The blacks are black. Everything looks gorgeous. Because we used what we learned earlier, skin tone needs to be on the skin tone line. We cropped to just see her skin. We corrected the entire scene. Everything looks great because it was all screwed up by the same amount. If you need to stretch your training dollars, the subscription membership to our video training library can save you money. You can access all of our videos for one low monthly price of only $19.99. That's more than 600 movies, dozens of hours of training, all in-depth and up-to-date. Plus, members can attend any of our Power Up webinars for free. Our training covers both Apple and Adobe software. We update it every week. And for more information, visit LarryJordan.biz slash subscriptions. This has been an excerpt of a recent Power Up webinar. For the complete version of this online training, please visit our store at LarryJordan.biz slash store. And look for Webinar 104.